Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, hey y'all, this is my brother. He has his own YouTube channel. Is that an official King Pain? Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna link that in the bio. But so today we're doing a mukbang because we love eating and we love talking. So that's what we're gonna get into. That part. <laughs> I'm the official King Pain. And today I'm doing a muck bong muck bang with my sister, okay? He don't know nothing about this stuff. He don't know I just had to educate him on muck bong like, like well, you can't eat it. You can't eat it. What you can't no. I, I don't know nothing about this. I usually don't be eating my food on camera, okay? Fine. It don't matter where I'm at, how I'm doing it, I'm gonna eat regardless. <laughs> that I'm part. hungry, I'm gonna eat. That's why so, I do like my food. <laughs> So today I'm eating what I had at the mall yesterday. I didn't finish my eyes. I was not hungry. So what's so pretzel? Oof, the brightness. Oof. What's so pretzel? They're like little mini cheese dogs. <laughs> not a girl, meal. hurry up. I'm hungry, girl. Zay. And pizza bites. And a baby bell. <laughs> and mustard. And water. <laughs> now your food. Grandpa, what's that? Cheese? Yes. What kind of cheese is that? Like mozzarella thingies. I, I don't know. I be liking them so much. They are so good. I always want to try it because I like cheese, but I be you got to be careful with the type of cheese you put in your mouth because if you get some cheese and it's not that good, the taste kind of lingers. I hate that shit. You know what I mean? This one's not bad. I don't even got that much taste. It's more like a little snack. I be, I be eating them. Mmm. You know what's a good snack? Them, um, them peas, them snap peas. They're like this harvest snap peas things. Them are so good. Like, I'll eat. I eat a whole bag. I will not even notice I ate the whole bag. This says don't eat the whole bag, but I ate the whole bag. It wasn't going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. So, what I'm eating, I'm eating my uh, world-renowned <laughs> macaroni and cheese, okay? This the shit. Everybody love my macaroni mm -hmm. and cheese, okay? And I made some yesterday. My mom had, oh, hold on. My mom had me uh, make some yesterday, okay? <laughs> I don't make my mac and cheese all the time because my mac and cheese is expensive, okay? I don't make that cheap shit. I get the ingredients on top of the ingredients, <laughs> okay? Everything, okay? My shit be coming up to like $50. I like, I'm cooking for a village, okay? So, and then also I got on here, this is my favorite thing to eat. This is my favorite shit. This is my mama ribs, okay? She make the best ribs. You see how it's just falling apart? See that? Ooh, I can't wait to eat. I'm hungry and shit. I don't know why she talking about mukbangs and things. And then I got this um, sausage, okay? And nobody stop me from eating. Stop me eating. I'm ready to eat. Mm -mm. <laughs> Anyway, but well, we got to get into some things. We got to talk that tea because, you know, monk mom, tea, just go together. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, this morning when I woke up on Instagram, I saw what is now known as salt, not spice. Salt? <laughs> salt <laughs> okay. Cause powder, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> garlic powder. <laughs> garlic salt. Because I don't know what happened to her. She went from sesame seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> to paprika. <laughs> mm -mm. This is out of line. I don't understand why she even bleached her skin. Cause her skin was so pretty. I like her skin. Mm -mm. That bitch is. Now she look like, look like she's really into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> I like bitch Casper. <laughs> <laughs> she crazy. Mm, mustard got good words on. I don't even like mustard like that, but with this stuff, it tastes so good with mustard. Mm. And I'm all for doing what makes you happy, but I think there's, she kind of went, that's kind of extreme. It just killed me because it's not wearing. even just the skin. It's like, she went the blonde wig on, <laughs> her eyebrows, different colors now. It's lighter. Look, when she's on her whole persona, and she, I'm like, for somebody who's really um, always trying to show off her, her, um, her skin, you know, like trying to put power like into, like yeah, like um, not saying like black power or anything, but like you know she she show off her 
her ethnicity and culture all the time for her to just change it. Like, all of a sudden. For I don't know what reason. Yes, sis. She's setting a bad example for the little girls out here. You need to be proud of your black skin, sister, okay? Because black is beautiful, okay? Period. That part. I know I look good, okay? Won't catch me out here beaching all of <laughs> this good-looking ass like skin, okay? Sexy chocolate, okay? Won't be <laughs> happening, okay? I ain't bleaching none of this. None of this. That spice, she done lost it. Mm. She done definitely lost it. Mm -mm. Talking about checking her album. I don't want to hear nothing else from you, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I see, uh, what's her name? Amara? Who always be like, I don't Amara La Negra? Uh-huh. That's my girl. If I see her take that skin color, it's going to be a wrap. I ain't watching Love Love Hip Hop. That part. <laughs> well, you know, they kind of do that over in Africa. That's like a thing. Like, they be bleaching their skin, so. And she's from Jamaica. But you know what? She may have been able to bleach her skin, but you know what they say. You could take the girl out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of me. Mm, I, she couldn't bleach that crazy. voice. She still sound black than any motherfucker. They be, <laughs> girl, they can be looking at her like, what? Mm, pump, 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 pump. <laughs> what, girl? She recently did this interview mm -hmm. promoting her album or her single or whatever, Black Hypocrisy or whatever. We gotta look, listen to that song. I told you we need to listen to that. Mm -hmm. But, um, she was promoting that, and she was on there, and she got, like, this visor on covering her face, like. Mm-hmm, I saw so that. So, I think it may not be all together up in here, area. right here in this area and stuff. Because that picture that she had online with the blonde wig and stuff on, mm -hmm. it looked like she had a lot of makeup on, a lot of makeup. That's true. But she seemed much, much, much whiter in the interview than she did in that picture, Okay. In the picture, she gave me like little Kim ass. I thought that was little Kim. That's what irritated me too because little Kim was real cute. She was real cute when she was starting off and everything. Like when you see her little throwback pictures, I was like, you cannot tell what she looked like in the past. If you if you didn't know who little Kim was before, you'd be so confused. Like that's not that's not her. I I was so lost. Like. Looking at her throwbacks, and she like a little cute little brown girl, real cute. Her her nose was cute too. I don't know why she changed her nose, chipped it all off. I love Spice Man. You know what I love about Spice Man? That bitch can twerk. She could twerk the shit out of some shit, okay? Man, I got no booty. Just like me, okay? I'll be twerking the shit out of some shit, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Man, I got no booty. Yeah, her music is good. But um, I, I love the um. I maybe know. this is all just a publicity publicity stuff. Maybe she just got on hella makeup. She's just trying to boost her album, said, boost her single. Mhm. Mm a lot of people said um, her picture was photoshopped or like they were trying. Maybe she's yeah. That's probably why she's trying to do like put her new music out like that. Well, she said she struggled with being black growing up, being the darkest one. So, and she said that she got most of her um, you know. Criticism from people in the black community, like they would be the people that would put her down the most for being black. Like, oh, mm -hmm. black girl, and that's what really girl. irritates me because people really try to say in the industry there is no light skin, dark skin privilege and stuff like that. But you can't name a person who is dark skin that's an A lister in any category, which is due to acting. If there ain't if it ain't a black man, he not. Ain't no black woman is going to be considered an A-lister if she's not mixed, if she's not light-skinned, and she's not, like, um, <laughs> but, like, the, the three main, every time you listen, say, um, a certain name for the artist, it always come up as Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, like, nothing, nothing wrong with them, because I love all three of them. Even Cardi B, you know, I like her too, but she been acting real funny lately, like. Rihanna, dark skin. On the inside. You and Rihanna about the same complexion, girl, okay? Mm-hmm. Me and Riri, we twinning, girl. She be having on makeup and stuff, mm-hmm. Mm, not on dark skin. What? But I'm saying, 
there's people who, like, like, okay, so, the artist, Asian Doll, I love her so much, like, I just love her music and everything, like, she, she got bars for days, but you see, like, an artist, like, Sweetie, like, her raps are good, too, but it's, like, her songs sound kind of consistent, her flow, is, it doesn't really change up, it just sounds like California rap all the time. But, <coughs> oh Lord. <laughs> but I'm saying is that it's like Sweetie got, like just to talk about even followers too. Sweetie got a million followers way faster than Asian Dog when Asian Dog been doing her career for like, for years and years. Like, well, I, I noticed her like two years ago. But I'm saying she just recently got a million. Why Sweetie, she put out one song. And she wearing, she's wearing blonde hair and stuff like that. And nothing wrong with her either. She's beautiful. So is Asian Doll. So is all the people I'm talking about. But it's like you always notice that somebody who barely get into the game, but their parents will always affect what they will, where they stand. It'll never just be like, oh, um, well, she has, she's talented, so we sh- we gotta put her up more. Where everybody's going for the hottest thing, so. She's trending. She's just gonna get more attention, more everything. Yeah, that is true. But you know what? Just because she's getting more followers and more subscribers and <laughs> likes and all that, that don't mean nothing. What that means is that she manifested. That means that she put the right vibes into the world, and she's just receiving. The benefits of her beliefs, okay? You just gotta believe in yourself. That's what you gotta do. You gotta believe in yourself like no one else so that, you know what I'm saying, other people can believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's what I feel with this um, Spice thing. She just, I really just feel like it's not a um, big blow to me. Like, girl, do what you do. But I feel, because, you know, I'm not, like, her fan or nothing. Like, mm-hmm. I, I just like loving hip-hop. Right. But I feel like if I was, her, like, a big fan of hers, that I would feel let down because it's like, girl, you should be, like, I'm expecting you to be confident in you and comfortable with you the way that, you know, you make me feel when I hear your music. You know, when you're talking about, drop that stuff, drop that stuff, <laughs> wind it on up, wind it on up, <laughs> pop, lock, and drop, twerk, and break that back. See, when she's doing all that, she's providing folks with a feeling. And then when she out here bleaching her skin, she basically making people feel like this is not how she really feels. Well, she's definitely not confident and comfortable with herself. <laughs> yeah. And she's been feeling that way for a long time. Now it's like, it's very loving hip hop ish because it's like, what's she going to do next? And I feel like. Now, love and hip hop people are trying their best to be kind of like the next Cardi and stuff like that. But in reality, all their music is trash. Bottom line, <laughs> that's have, why they don't love and hip hop. Literally, no. the rap, rap career, like the new, the new dude that they have on there, like um, the gay dude. No, no, he only have colorful wigs and Candy. stuff. Yeah, but it's like his rap career is based off a of persona. Of him just talking about how he's the best gay man out. And I'm like, okay. We got it the first 20 raps. And we all know that's not true, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I can rap my ass off, okay? Oh, what's that song? Man, what's that song? <laughs> the money on the flow. Yeah, the money on the flow. What? 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 But it's like all that music is literally trash. Like even the only I love Cardi B, but I'm like now I'm kind of I'm all slowly, slowly and slowly just getting tired of her. Like I understood like in love and hip hop, she she do what she do. She fights who like people like that was obvious. She be fighting threw a shoe at the girl on stage. Da da da. But. <laughs> It's like, girl, now that you have all this fame, but she steady trying to throw that on on her lives, talking about like, oh yeah, 
I'm in such a good place right now. I'm in such a good place. Girl, but you, as soon as you, like, be around somebody in the wrong predicament, the wrong time, you automatically just flip. And let's just be clear. Nicki Minaj is not no love and hip-hop reality star. She's a fucking maker, super world star. Don't need the reality thing. You know what I'm saying? She didn't need the reality thing. And all I'm, I'm saying that just to say is that she responds... People like that respond different to having shoes thrown at them. She expected a fight or a brawl or something, kind of like when she threw the shoe at the girl uh, at the reunion. Mm -hmm. But girl, Nikki's not that girl. Cardi loves her. She, she got way too <laughs> much going on to risk her endorsements fighting with your ass. Exactly. And it is crazy to me because Cardi really just, like, ha well, that was, I didn't even know that's like a long ago, but she still, like, she recently had her baby, and she out doing the food. And what killed me was her doing that stuff to the girls at the strip club when you did that stuff at the strip club. <laughs> you did the same thing. If you saw a rapper coming to the strip club, what you gonna do, pass him up because, oh, he's taken, though. Girl, he came to the strip club to spend some money. He gave me the shit called to spend money. I'm not going to sit here and just like, mm, I got to respect his, her wishes. No, girl. I'm going to get my bag. <laughs> I don't know. In this new millennia, I feel like we're in a time where they just glorifying these girls that's in these strip clubs. Stripping used to not be such a highly looked upon, sought out career. I'm meeting girls these days to tell me that they want to get in a strip club. They want to be a dancer. Like, that's their career goal. That ain't no damn career goal. For you. Especially, <laughs> this is the killer part. Most of the girls... See, I don't know where this video is going to go because on my channel, I'll be called, I say, I would say hoes. Okay. So with most of the girls, okay. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> most of the girls... They ain't built for this. <laughs> They're saying they want to dance. Don't even know how to dance. That's the killer part. I be like, oh, you know how they to dance? They gonna teach me. <laughs> like, I ain't never seen them dance before in my life. Because y'all know I can twerk. Oh, I don't. And I love to twerk, okay? Twerk king, okay? <laughs> twerk my ass off. I can do all that stuff. All the little moves and all stuff. Just headstands back. Anyway, so I be like, I always ask. I always ask, you know how to dance? They be like, no. No, oh, like, you ain't even you can't even do like a little thigh a two step like a little routine. I ain't put together nothing. Just on no. your shoulders. I'm just, just gonna get in there, take a couple shots, and do what I do. Well, girl, if that's all you do, you must not want much, okay? Mm. Them girls, they put a lot of energy to making them dollars, okay? Yeah. But the, that's what I was talking about. Like, the reason, like, they love hip hop people and trying to be like the next Cardi B. That's what I'm saying. Well, they songs still suck. But it's like, they don't even, I feel like they don't even hear their, their own lyrics. Like, like, I don't know. I don't know what type of music they think they're doing. Like, the only one who I think will be the next Cardi B at all of them would be Mariah Lynn, and she can't rap. But, girl, that song, um. No, uh -uh. Once upon a time. I'm not going to let you grace over Mariah Lynn like that. <laughs> You're that not going to do that. Girl, it's going to be the next one. She up there. Mm -mm. Period. Icky who? Uh, okay. Icky who? Icky who? Girl. Girl. They look over Mariah Lynn. Out of all the girls on Love and Hip Hop, Mariah Lynn is the only one that can rap. That's the only one whose songs that I would listen to right now and be ready to twerk. Mm-hmm. She got some good songs. I, like uh, that Money Gun oh, song. Oh, yeah. I was thinking Money Gun. And then, uh, um, Once Upon a Time. Not long ago, I was a hoe. Yeah, that's all. That, she was the best. She the best. She the best uh, they rapper to, and they, they talking about the next one who's going to be like. It's her English. look. It's her look. That's what. That's what really killed her. She had her skinny. She, and then she do too much with the hair. And not to be like. All them weaves and there's stuff. A, like, there's a difference from what the industry will. They don't want. 
not to be rude, but they don't. If they, it's gonna be a white woman, they want her to be with blackish, like black features, supposedly. Like how they got Iggy, and they don't even call him Iggy like as big a big titties and shit. Iggy ain't got no damn. Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about from Mariah Lane. Yeah, but Mariah, even though she lifted him up, they ain't did nothing. She just had no booty either. Mm-hmm. She's just. But that's not something you should down her for. But I don't think she that good as a rapper. But she would have been more the dope if she was that white left. girl. If she was that white girl that could rap, not that white girl that's trying to be black who also raps. <laughs> I don't even think she'd be trying to be black. It's just how she's where she live. People be always trying to say like just because like that's like saying calling somebody ignorant, ignorant or something like a black person ignorant because they they supposedly are just they're not speaking. I don't know. I'm I don't just know saying, where I'm just trying to go white, with that. <laughs> if your skin is white and you white, you have an advantage. Take advantage of your motherfucking advantage. Wish you out here hanging with the niggas and shit, trying to be lower class and shit, where you have the opportunity, you have access to higher classes. This bitch is out here bleaching their motherfucking skin for the same opportunities that you have. Literally. And you passing them up because you like black dick. Okay? <laughs> it's something. Something's going on. Because ain't nobody present. Girl, please. That's like choosing between the ghetto and the suburbs. She choosing the ghetto. Like, she don't have to live like that. She don't. She ain't living broke, but she living struggle. But you could kind of tell, like, from her se- like her season series, it's like she going back and forth with her mama, trying to, fi- trying to fix her mama life while still trying to take care of all her siblings and stuff like that and everything. So... I can see why she still has like her little ways, but I don't. I don't think she really just try to be ghetto, but she do try to be like, like ignorant. She really do be trying to pull the most ignorant stuff out, like for her little coverage, because her storyline basically dead. What you mean? <laughs> Everybody storyline, oh, uh, love and hip hop be dead. If they in a, co- if they in a relationship, good music. their relationship be hella dead. If they, uh, they just having a baby, the whole storyline is about the baby, about the baby, and then the baby with the baby. Ever since they started dropping <laughs> them sex tapes, it's been hard to like. Literally, top of sex tape. The only thing top of sex tape is another fucking sex tape. Everybody Literally, what's her name? Tiara. Yeah, Tiara Marie. She yeah. got a sex tape. They heck of bored. They so bored. I love him. <laughs> Tia Marie, this last episode, she really just wore me out with oh. the fact that she keep going back to her so called abuser, still having sex, still recording videos. First of all, girl, <laughs> ain't no cameras, no phones ever. When I see you, when I pull up, hey, matter of fact, Tia, she had enough money to have like a fucking. Beacon in her pocket to where everybody within a hundred motherfucking feet of her phones and everything just get disabled. Cameras and everything can't record shit. Okay, you can't record shit. Cameras, they she just need like a she need to she know what she need to do. She needs to hire one of the motherfucking X Men. Okay, <laughs> that's what she needs. She need an X Men with one of them um super shield blockers th- type of things to just be blocking holes. Okay, because this shit is just not right. I, I really never, haven't been watching Love and Hip Hop since, like... I was cheering for Tierra Marie. I love that Since that one girl who was like... So, she's like, uh, what do you define, define yourself as? I'm black. <laughs> and everybody was like... Girl, you do not, you do not uh, identify... Cardi? No, it's that one girl who had blonde hair. She was with the same um, season. Oh, as, okay, okay, uh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I know who you're talking about. Uh, yeah, but I was like, girl, at the end of the day, if they, if they were going to kill a baby, who, you going to identify black? The one that was fight beef with Amar and mm-hmm. La Negra. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. forgot, I forget her name. That's, that was so funny. Is she funny. on the new season? I don't even know. Her storyline was boring. She just she, she definitely wanted to be friends. Black. She wanted to be friends. That's what I'm saying. My party be like, being supposedly she was saying that she's black or whatever. But, um... Calling black women she don't, roaches! Uh, she don't, um... Pay no homage to no, um... Nothing black in her videos or nothing that she does. Like, she be, like, doing Hispanic and Latin and... But that's really her culture ch- first. That, that's who she is. I think she was just born in a black area, but more. But either way... She only want to be she... black when she want to use that word nigga. Mm-hmm. Sure do. 
Cause she don't need that type of backlash for her career. So she gotta tell people that she black, so that right she can do black black people things. won't uh, fucking boycott her ass. Okay, because <laughs> she need our coins. Black people I don't love even. to invest in bullshit. Oh, did you see that video about her with the um her makeup artist? Mm-hmm. Black Swan. Mm-hmm. Girl, I was like. Black Swan ain't shit. She know that she did a horrible ass <laughs> job. Okay, I don't think That's she did happened. a bad job. I just think she was nervous. She couldn't take all Cardi B energy. Like you know, Cardi B was Cardi B probably and, was giving a lot, but she probably wasn't giving a lot to her. It's the thing about that. Like she did her makeup before. Black Swan did her makeup plenty of times before. No, and, like it was I just think this. She did it one time before. They said they did it, like three times before. Never, but keep going. There was like three pictures, two different pictures with her. So I, I assumed. Girl, well, you know people just be taking pictures, cropping it, posting that shit on the internet. Mm, I don't know. Her, they was like all together. But anyway, know. keep going, girl. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> but yeah, I was. So you all mess me up, like. <laughs> but um. Oh, but what I was saying, like, when uh, she was doing Cardi makeup, it's like, every five minutes she was talking about, like, Cardi was going, like, look at her makeup and saying, I don't like how it look. Obviously, you ain't gonna like how it look. Like, that's like saying, I don't like how it look, but you just put the baking powder on your face. Like, mm-hmm. how she am I supposed to... It ain't done. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even been dealing with Cardi B motherfucking ass. She said when she was doing her makeup, Cardi was on her phone looking down like this, and so Literally. she had to like squint over and like do her makeup like that. that is- bitch, no, I'm not doing. I'm not doing your makeup, bitch. You would have had the opportunity <laughs> to fire me because I would have fired your ass. Okay, I would be like fuck you, bitch. Sit That's what I would have said. She was you got there me crying and stuff. Girl, you don't hire me to do your makeup. If you want me to do your makeup, sit your ass up. Sit up like you want to get your shit done. If you don't want to get your shit done, I don't have to do it. Especially if you're in a rush for 30 minutes. That shit is a fucking loser. If you're pretty, if she's really out here fucking treating you makeup artists and you make hairstylists like that, then don't, y'all, have more self esteem, have more pride. Working with her ain't worth it like that. You know what I'm saying? Look, I got all shit on my nails from eating these bomb ass ribs. You know what I'm saying? Like, have some more, have some. Self esteem about your motherfucking self, it ain't worth it. I mean, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you would, what I, I do here for a living, so when you come up in here and you sit in my chair, you sit out like you want to get your hair done. You know what I'm like, exactly. you here to get because I, especially blessed. if she was in a, uh, she said it was at a 30 minute time range, like she had to be done. Get you over here like this, then like I couldn't do it. I was be like, I guess you don't want it done. <laughs> You know, we have been arguing for she real. Know she had fucked up when she had tried to do the smoky eyes. That's what she had fucked up. If Cardi B head down and you try to put on smoky eyes, I could just imagine there's black shit everywhere. And that's very true because smoky eyes, I can't do no type of makeup. Mascara and lip gloss is my friend, my bestie. But like this, because I can't do nothing else. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can't do makeup for nothing. You tried the um, Rihanna um, Fenty color palettes and stuff? The I dark people colors and stuff. That part, that's probably what it is. You trying all this Caucasian makeup. That shit don't be working, okay? You need to get yourself. I don't be using... I use stuff with better pigments and stuff. It's just that I don't know how to use that stuff. I'll be having makeup. Eyeshadow be supposed to be right here. Eyeshadow up here, here, here. Mm. I just don't know how to put on makeup. Because <laughs> <laughs> I shall need to learn because... <clears throat> nah, I'm cute. Period. That part, girl, you keep this little eyeliner here and there, okay? Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. Girl, I ate all this food. I'm ready for I need some more ribs, okay? This whole plate empty. It's got bones. And my, I didn't like that um pizza. That pizza stuff. I should have just got all hot dogs. My friend took my hot dogs. Mm. Mm. She fake. She knows she didn't want them hot dogs. She does. And I paid for everything. Them ribs are so good. They just fell right off the bone. I ate that shit so fast. I didn't realize how I was just sitting here talking. Mm, that's what I'm saying. That's why mukbangs are good. Cause you know, you, that's how it feels. Like, you know, you just eat in, you talking. Like, how you talk at when you eat with people. Period. Well. That's it for this video. Because I'm full. And be done. <laughs> and that's it. And I'm thirsty. Yeah, well, I'm the official King Pain. Y'all can follow me over at the official King Pain. 
Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this video. <laughs> this is my sister, Lily Wallet. Go ahead, tell them how they can find you, sis. Okay. This is my page. <laughs> Don't worry, this is her page. But yeah, subscribe, like, and share because, you know, we can all have a little laugh together. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can hear this? Yes. Oh, okay, I have the headphones in. <laughs> Okay, hello. Bye. Bye.